Good evening. I'd go so far as to say this isn't the week to be splashing about in the sea, either in a bathing suit or in a small boat. The weather charts have a distinctly autumnal look about them, and they promise some heavy rain through the week and some unusually strong winds. In fact, the first storm is already on our doorstep. This mass of cloud gathering in the southwest approaches. Ahead of it, quite a few of us have had some sunshine through the day today, but that has been the calm before the storm. This area of low pressure already bringing some wet weather across the southwest, and that wet weather develops more widely across the southern half of the country. Another low across the north promises some heavy showers later tonight and through tomorrow. But it's really the rain in the south giving us the greatest cause for concern. It spreads across uh, Wales, the Midlands, eastern counties of England. We could see uh, as much as two to maybe three inches. So no surprise, the Met Office already has some severe weather warnings in force. And then if anything, that low develops further as it moves out into the North Sea. The isobars become more apparent, telling us it's also going to get windy, strong gusts along the channel later in the night. And then through tomorrow, circulating around that area of low pressure, the winds really whip up down the eastern side of England. They too could cause some problems. It does all calm down a bit across the eastern areas. The uh, storm moves away, but then we're left with that other area of low pressure, promising slow-moving heavy showers for Scotland, Northern Ireland, much of Northern England through the afternoon. The risk of some uh, thunderstorms here. Further south, just a sprinkling of showers, maybe some sunny intervals, highs of 21, but further north, a cool day, just 15 or 16 degrees Celsius. Now, as we go through uh, Monday evening, the showers in the south do tend to fizzle away, but we do keep some wet weather going further north, especially across Scotland. More showers then push back in across the Irish Sea into North Wales and parts of northern England. But it's, uh, at least it will be something of a cooler night, especially across the south. It's been very humid here recently. Fresher air arrives by Tuesday morning. Now, Tuesday's uh, chart shows that area of low pressure long gone. We do have this trailing weather front, though, and still quite a few isobars across the chart, so it'll still be a blustery day, and there'll be quite a few showers around. Bands of showers really tracking their way southwards across Scotland, northern England into Wales, a scattering of showers further south. Still maybe some sunny intervals between the showers here, possibly still up to 21 in London, but for most, again, temperatures disappointing for this time of year, 16 or 17 at the very best. Now, it'll get quite chilly, in fact, on uh, Tuesday night, but we do have, well, something of a respite. A little ridge of high pressure promises, uh, for many, a fine day on Wednesday. It is probably the only dry day across the uh, country, starting off chilly but with some sunshine, and it doesn't even stay dry throughout the day. In the west, we are expecting some more wet weather. The observant amongst you will have seen this one approaching. This is another deep area of low pressure. Again, this is the sort of thing we'd expect to see in October or November. Lots of isobars, a great tangle of weather fronts, spreading rain across the country through the day and bringing with it some pretty strong winds, followed behind by fairly frequent showers. And again, those temperatures stuck in the mid-teens for most places. That area of low pressure just gradually heads out into the North Sea during Thursday night and into uh, Friday. It does mean that, well, maybe things turn a little bit drier across western areas on Friday with a bit of sunshine, but there'll be more showery rain across northern Scotland and down the eastern side. As ever, by the end of the week at this time, some uncertainty, so stay tuned for more details or head online. It's back now to Ellie.